Fedora versus open source. Finding the perfect Linux distro for beginners. Choosing your first Linux distribution can feel overwhelming, especially if you are new to Linux world. Today, we are diving into two popular beginner friendly options Fedora and open source. Both are renowned for their ease of use and vibrant communities, making them excellent starting points for those transitioning from Windows or Mac OS. In this video, we will compare their key features, installation process, package management systems, and overall user experience to help you decide which distribution is the best fit for your needs. Let's first take a look at the Fedora, a cutting edge experience. Fedora is a Linux distribution developed by the community supported Fedora project and backed by Red Hat one of the largest contributors to the Linux kernel. This backing ensures Fedora is optimized for performance and stability while delivering the latest software and innovative features. Here's what makes Fedora stand out. The bleeding edge technology. Fedora is often the first to adopt new Linux kernel updates and software versions, making it ideal for users who want to stay at the forefront of technology. For example, it frequently includes the latest versions of popular tools like Firefox or LibreOffice. The GNOME Desktop Environment Fedora's default desktop is GNOME, known for its modern, clean, and intuitive interface. It's particularly appealing for beginners due to its simplicity and resemblance to the other mainstream operating systems. The DNF Package Manager Fedora uses DNF, which is Dandified YAM, a fast and reliable package manager that simplifies installing and updating software. It's user-friendly with straightforward commands for managing applications. The Fast Release Cycle Fedora releases a new version approximately every six months, ensuring access to the latest features. However, this rapid pace can sometimes introduce minor bugs or instability, which might be a consideration for beginners seeking a rock-solid experience. While Fedora's cutting-edge nature is exciting, the occasional instability from frequent updates could pose a slight learning curve for new users. If you're tech-savvy and enjoying exploring new software, Fedora's innovative approach is a great match. Now, the open source, stability and user-friendliness. Open source, developed by the open source project and sponsored by source, is designed to be accessible and stable, making it an excellent choice for beginners and professionals alike. It comes in two flavors, Leap, which offers long-term support, and Tumbleweed, a rolling release for those who want frequent updates. For beginners, Leap is often recommended due to its stability. Here's why open source stands out. The user-friendly YAST installer. Open source YAST, which is yet another setup tool, is a powerful graphical installer that simplifies the setup process. It offers extensive customization options, such as partitioning and software selection, while remaining approachable for newcomers. The flexible desktop choices. Unlike Fedora's default GNOME, OpenSUSE lets you choose your desktop environment during installation. Popular options include KDE Plasma, known for its visual appeal and customization, and GNOME, which offers a simpler, streamlined experience. Other options like XFCE are available for low-spec hardware. The Zipper Package Manager OpenSUSE uses Zipper, a robust package manager praised for its ease of use and advanced features like rollback. 
which allows you to revert changes if something goes wrong. An excellent safety net for beginners. The stability and documentation. Open source Leap focuses on long term support with an 8 month release cycle that prioritizes stability. Its extensive documentation and active community forums provide ample resources for troubleshooting, making it easier for beginners to learn and resolve issues. Open source emphasis on stability and flexibility makes it ideal for users who want a reliable system with the option to personalize their experience. However, the YAST installer extensive options might feel slightly complex for absolute beginners. Now, installation process. A hands-on comparison. The installation process is a critical factor for beginners. As it sets the tone for your Linux experience, Let's compare how Fedora and OpenSUSE handle this. First, the Fedora's Anaconda installer. Fedora uses the Anaconda installer, which is designed to be a straightforward and user-friendly. It guides you through essential steps like language selection, network configuration, and disk partitioning with clear, individual prompts. For beginners, Anaconda's simplicity is a major advantage as it minimizes the need for advanced configuration during setup. However, it offers fewer customization options compared to open source, which might limit power users but benefit those new to Linux. Now, open source YAST installer. Open source YAST installer is more comprehensive, offering greater control over the installation process. You can customize partitioning, select software packages, and choose your desktop environment, for example, KDE Plasma or GNOME, during setup. While this flexibility is powerful, it might feel overwhelming for beginners. However, YAS graphical interface and clear instructions make it accessible with a bit of patience. Now, post installation experience. After installation, Fedora boots into the GNOME desktop with a curated set of pre-installed applications like Firefox, LibreOffice, and a media player, providing a ready-to-use experience. OpenSUSE post-installation setup demands on the chosen desktop environment, but typically includes similar essential tools. Its YAS tool also doubles as a system management interface, allowing you to tweak settings post-installation, which is a bonus for beginners learning to manage their system. Both installers are beginner-friendly, but Fedora's Anaconda is simpler for those who want a quick setup, while OpenSUSE YAST offers more control for those willing to explore. Now, choosing the right distribution, your needs and preferences. Deciding between Fedora and OpenSUSE depends on your priorities and preferences as a winner. Here is a breakdown to help you choose. If you want a cutting-edge technology, Fedora is likely the better choice. Its six-month release cycle ensures you are always using the latest software, and the GNOME desktop provides a modern, polished experience. The DNF package manager is straightforward, making software management easy. However, be prepared for occasional updates that might introduce minor bugs requiring some troubleshooting. Now, if you prioritize stability and customization, open source, particularly the Leap version, is a strong contender. Its focus on long-term support ensures a stable system. And the ability to choose your desktop environment, like KDE Plasma for customization, are known for simplicity, caters to diverse preferences. Zipper's rollback feature adds an extra layer for safety and the extensive documentation supports beginners in learning the ropes. Now, hardware considerations. Both distributions support a wide range of hardware, including x86-64, ARM, 
and others. Fedora is particularly noted for its support for cutting-edge hardware. While OpenSUSE XFCE option is great for older or low-spec PCs. Now, conclusion. Your Linux journey begins here. Both Fedora and OpenSUSE are fantastic choices for beginners, each offering unique strengths. Fedora provides a cutting-edge experience with the latest software, a sleek GNOME desktop, and the user-friendly DNF package manager, making it perfect for those eager to explore Linux's newest innovations. Open source, with its stable lib release, flexible desktop options, powerful YAST installer, and robust zipper package manager, is ideal for users who value reliability and customization. I encourage you to try both distributions, perhaps using a live USB or virtual machine, to see which one feels right for you. Your Linux journey is just beginning, and choosing the right distribution is the first step towards a rewarding and empowering experience. Let me know in the comments which one you are leaning toward and why. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.